to our Kingdom Life Temple Sunday Empowerment Worship Service right here in Franklin, New Jersey. Uh, we do thank God for you all that are here on today. Those that are watching virtually, God bless you. This time we're entering our call to worship as we ask everyone to please stand at this time. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. As he make this declaration unto the Lord with our right hands raised, I am righteous. I am, righteous. I am forgiven. I am, forgiven. I am, healed. I am healed. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for how you have made us righteous, God. Lord, we are righteous because we are in you, Lord Jesus. So, Lord God, even on this day, Lord Jesus, we thank you, oh God, Lord Jesus, asking you, oh God, even now, God, to forgive us of any sins we have committed against you, willingly or unwillingly, Lord Jesus. Sins of, om of omission, sins of commission, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we pray, Lord Jesus, right now, God, that you would take away our sins, Lord Jesus. Remember them not, Lord Jesus. We cast our burdens to you, God. God, on today, God. Well, we are righteous, God. Oh, God, we are forgiven, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your saving power. Thank you for your saving grace, Lord Jesus. For we are only saved by your grace through faith, oh, God, on today, God. So, Lord God, we thank you for your saving power, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, we pray even now, Lord Jesus, that you would open the mind of someone, Lord Jesus, that is a sinner, oh, God, that they might turn to you, God, to be forgiven of their sins, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we pray, God. God, that you would arrest their heart, Lord, arrest their mind, Lord Jesus, that they might be saved, Lord God. Lord Jesus, we thank you, oh God, for we are healed, God, by your stripes, oh Lord Jesus. We are healed, Lord Jesus. So, Lord God, we thank you for your healing power, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your healing power on today, God. We thank you for your healing power. We thank you for your power deliverance, God. We thank you for your power deliverance, Lord. We thank you, God, for your power of salvation on today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. And every day give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. To make this declaration unto the Lord, I shall always rejoice. And pray, and pray without ceasing. In everything, I give thanks. I give thanks. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Right now, Lord Jesus, be rejoice, oh God, on today, God. For you are the often finisher of our faith, God. So, Lord God, we trust you on today, God. We put our faith in you, God. Lord Jesus, even now, God, we give thanks unto you, God. We give thanks unto you, oh God. We give thanks unto you, God. We glorify your name, God. We magnify your name on today, God. Oh God, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it, Lord Jesus. We rejoice, oh God, through diverse temptations, Lord God. We rejoice, oh God, even when bad things are occurring in our life, God. But we know you are in control of all things, oh Lord Jesus. So Lord God, right now, God, we pray without ceasing, God. We pray without ceasing, God. Give us a spirit of prayer, God. Give us a praying spirit, God. Help us to pray in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the midnight hour, Lord Jesus. Lord God, give us a spirit, oh God, of prayer, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, oh God. And Lord God, we forever give your name the praise, oh God. We give you thanks, oh God. Hallelujah. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. As you make this declaration unto the Lord, I shall not fear. I am powerful. I have love and I have a sound mind. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord God, we shall not fear any day, God. We shall not fear the arrows that fly by the night, Lord Jesus. We shall not fear, Lord, anything that the enemy is putting into our minds to doubt you, God. To put fear in our hearts. To put fear in our spirits, God. We cast those things out in the name of Jesus, God. But you have not given us fear, Lord Jesus. You have not given us fear, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. The false evidence that is appearing real in our lives, Lord Jesus. We cast out fear in our mind. We cast out fear, Lord Jesus, in this place, Lord. We cast out fear, Lord Jesus, and whatever you are calling us to do, Lord Jesus. Lead God and direct our path, Lord Jesus, that we might be led by your spirit, God, that we might walk in your power, Lord Jesus. For, Lord Jesus, we have love, God. So, Lord God, Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving us one day. Lord God, we love you, oh God. And Lord Jesus, we're going to love others, Lord. We're going to love the lost, God. We're going to love our brothers and sisters in Christ, God. Lord Jesus, we're going to love, oh God, those that do not love you to the point, oh God, that they come to know who you are as their Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. As we make this declaration to the Lord, I can... Do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hallelujah, Lord God. We can do all things through you, oh God, who strengthens us, Lord Jesus. So, Lord God, we pray right now, God, that you will strengthen our spirits, Lord. Strengthen our faith, Lord Jesus. Fortify, oh God, our strength, Lord Jesus. In this Christian journey, oh Lord Jesus, we pray, oh Lord God, for increase, God. We pray, oh Lord Jesus, for increase, oh God. We pray the more for your power, God. We pray the more for your anointing, Lord Jesus. We pray the more, Lord Jesus, for your Holy Spirit to reign in our lives, God. To reign in this church, Lord Jesus. Lord God, oh God, Lord Jesus, help us to take over the nation, God, for your glory, Lord Jesus. Lord God, enlarge the tents, oh God, of our territory, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, increase, oh God finances, God. Increase, oh God, in our health, God. Increase, oh God, in occupation, Lord Jesus. Increase, oh Lord Jesus, in this community, God. We speak life over death on today. We speak life over death on today, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we command a release of your great love and spirit in our lives and upon our church, oh Lord. We decree and declare that the anointing of God is going to make people come running in to help catapult this ministry to the next level. Send in willing workers and dedicated members to this vineyard of the gospel. We declare increase in our ministry and that God will enlarge the tents of our ministry through an increase in ministerial team. We decree that the Five Point Community Vision will lift off quickly in this Franklin community that every need shall be met and that there shall not be a shortage of volunteers. We decree and declare that every last one of these sanctuary pews will be filled by the end of this year to the point of overflow, that there shall not be room enough at this current location to hold. We decree uncommon favor in uncommon places with uncommon people. We decree and declare to any sickness, disease, or ailment that you are healed. You are healed. You have what you say. We decree that this is our birthing season. May every dormant spiritual gift and spiritual office leap forth in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we pray right now, God, that today we are going to have a great service. Today, oh God, we are going to have an anointed service. Today, oh God, we are going to have a blessed service, God. Let your spirit fully reign in this service, God. Take charge, God. Take charge, oh God. So, Lord God, even now, Lord Jesus, we pray, Lord Jesus, as we go into the fervence of this service, God, let your glory and your power, oh God, might be manifested in this service, God. We pray, Lord Jesus, for these things, God, in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. For you have all power, you are all knowing, God, and you are present everywhere, God. So, Lord God, we give your name the praise on today. We give your name the glory. Hallelujah. We pray this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' master's name. Amen and amen. 
and now in the hands of our of a praise and worship leader, our Lady Sandra. Yes. Oh, so God, mighty God, mighty
Kingdom Connect Wednesday takes place this Wednesday with prayer beginning at 7 p.m. followed by our KLT Bible study at 7.30 p.m. We will be discussing family matters. Services will be cancelled for March break on Sunday, March 3rd and Wednesday, March 6th. Please take notes. Stay connected with KLT by texting more grace to 833-338-9693 to receive KLT updates and events. Thank you for watching. Kindly follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram or TikTok or on our website at www.kingdomlivetemplenj.com. KLT, changing lives for the better through Jesus Christ. Hilarious giver. As they're giving to the Lord, they're giving God like, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. You know? Because we have to give cheerfully unto the Lord. We do not want to give grudgingly, else we will not receive what does the Spirit of the Lord wants to give unto his people. So at this time, I ask everyone to stand as we um, decree and declare this KLT, Ministry of Giving Confession. You will repeat after me. I am a giver and I am glad about it. I am a giver. Because I am a giver. Because I am a giver. I expect increase all the days of my life. I expect increase all the days of my life. Holy Spirit, grant unto me. Holy Spirit, grant unto me. Increase in every area of my life. Increase in every area of my life. Promotions. Promotions. Rebates. 
refunds, refunds. Money, in the money in the mail, unexpected checks, unexpected checks. And, prosperity. and prosperity, all the days of my life. God is talking to someone about me, God is to someone about me. And, giving me uncommon favor and giving me uncommon favor with uncommon people, with uncommon people in, uncommon in uncommon places. Lord, right now, Lord, right now as, I give, as I cheerfully give, open the windows of heaven, open the windows of heaven and, pour and pour out a blessing that there shall not be room enough, that it shall not be room enough to receive it. To receive it is well. It is, well. It is, so. It is so. And everyone say, Amen. Amen. At this Amen. time, we will receive Amen. any cheerful giving. And we also do have four other ways to give. This is Zell, Kingdom Life Temple, NJ at gmail.com. Cash App is Dollar Sign, Kingdom Life Temple, NJ. Venmo is at Kingdom Life Temple, NJ. And our website giving is on www.kingdomlifetemplenj.com. Jesus. 
Hallelujah. You ask anyone to stand at this time, Lord Jesus. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we pray, Lord Jesus, right now, God, that you would take glory out of this service, Lord Jesus. Take the glory, Lord Jesus, out of our lives, Lord Jesus. For, O oh God, you, O oh God, this is your place, God. This is your house of worship, God. We give your name the praise, the glory, the honor, which is due unto you. We pray this name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name, amen. And while you're yet standing, we're going into the Job, uh, book of Job, chapter 8. Job, chapter 8, verse 7. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise his holy name. Thank God for how God gave me that song to write. But that is a song of praise. Adoration and worship to our Lord, for he deserves all of our praise. Yes. Job chapter 8, verse 7. And the scripture says, Though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. Hallelujah. Though thy beginning was small, Yet thy latter end should greatly increase. This is the reading of the word of the Lord. You may be seated in his presence. This is the conclusion of our series um, for this month of next level. Increase, enlarge, and take over. Next level, increase, enlarge, and take over. Uh, other translations of Job chapter 8 verse 7 says, and though you start it with little, you will end with much. Mm -hmm. Another one says, even though you're not much right now, you end up better than ever. Yes. Has anyone ever been in that position where you think you'll never be able to get better than where you are, but there is always better in God? Mm -hmm. Another says, then, even if your beginnings were modest, your final days will be full of prosperity. Yes. So we must learn not to despise small beginnings. Learn not to despise small beginnings. You have probably heard this many times before. Do not despise small beginnings. From small beginnings come great things. The truth of the matter is that we all need to start somewhere. During small beginnings, what normally happens is that one tends to put in a lot of effort, work so to speak with minimal support and minimal encouragement. Small beginnings often require commitment and dedication. I believe small beginnings, also known as humble beginnings, are there for a reason and serve a purpose. It is during the time of small beginning that God works on our character. God works on our character, which in time will show its strength and purpose. Humble beginnings are just that. They are humble at this stage, one has not had the experience yet and is not viewing oneself as being more experienced than those others. That we are not thinking that we are more experienced or better than others. Even as we look at when David went out to face Goliath, all he had was a slingshot and Five smooth stones. It looked ordinary, insignificant, and certainly nothing special. But God breathed on him, and he defeated Goliath and became the king of Israel. Even when those people around him wanted him to put on the armor, put on the armor of Saul, put on 
put on all of these things, but sometimes you have to use what God has put in your arsenal, yes. what God has put in your weaponry, because you can't use sometimes things that other people are using, for God has a custom-made, tailor-made armor just for you, a custom-made weapon just for you. All Moses had was an ordinary staff, the one that was like, I can't lead these people, God, I stutter. But yet God gave him his brother, Aaron, to be by his side. Something he found on the ground was the staff. Yet when he picked up that rod and held it in the air, the Red Sea supernaturally parted. Samson was surrounded by a huge army. All he had was the jawbone of a donkey. But he picked up that jawbone. God breathed on him and he defeated a thousand men. So whatever you and I start, no matter how small, but with dedication and commitment, seeking God's directions and his guidance, it will be something huge in a couple of years. His breath alone on it can make the difference. God will build up our characters in order to keep us grounded in him, to keep us grounded in him, to help us stay humble even when the small beginnings transition into great things. Just say keep your humility, keep your humility. Humble beginnings help us to see how far we have come from when we started and the work we had to put in yes. in order for us to move from small beginnings to completion. A lot of time and hours have to be put into what we have started. It is not unusual to experience setbacks in one way or the other. The important thing is to keep going and to never give up. To never give up. Do not despise these small beginning, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. So when you have big dreams, the small things can be, sometimes be frustrating, especially when they seem to linger for a while. However, when dames mature before their time, they often don't have the strength to maintain the level they have achieved prematurely. So many important things happen in the beginning in what seems to be smallness. And it's vital that attention is paid and Time is taken to make sure growth happens at a steady, maintainable, strengthening pace. Character, strength, knowledge, wisdom are all formed along this journey. They are learned and ingrained into us from the days we begin. The days where our dreams seem so far away. The days where we have no idea how we are going to get there. But we learn to trust God and his plan and understand that there is honor in beginning something. Hallelujah. You can remain confident in the fact that God will bring to completion what you have started. So don't despise small beginnings. Don't look at what you have and say, I can't do anything great. I don't have a lot of talent. If you will use what God has given unto you today, he will surely multiply it. So big things have small beginnings. Hallelujah. Even as we think here at Kingdom Life Temple, right here in Franklin, New Jersey, how did we get here? How did we get here? We had to walk by faith, not by sight. 
hallelujah, for when God has called me and, and put into my spirit to found this church to establish this ministry here in Sussex County, New Jersey. Hallelujah. Some people weren't on the same page. Some people would not give the encouragement that was needed. But that's why we have a God, we have a Father, we have an Abba that can do all things but fail. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. How did we get here? Even as we look around these at these pews in here that were once being sold on Facebook Marketplace for about fifty to one hundred dollars per pew, but I told this um, the person, the contact person, because they were up in upstate New York. I told them that this is for a new church that we are starting here in Franklin Borough, New Jersey, and they said to us it was coming out of a church. They were getting rid of the pews and selling them so they could bring in chairs that they had just purchased. So I told them all about that, gave them the website at that time because we already had that created. And they came back to me and said, We're, we will freely donate those pews to you. How many do you need? So that's how God works. That's how God works. Even as we think about this property, when we were looking at this property all the way from um, 2022 sometime when I had spoke to my former pastor at that time, what the Lord was sharing with me and how we got to and saw this building here. But then some delay and then we finally accepted and walked into the will of God and what he has called us to do last year. And then when I contacted the same property company, the rent had went down by about $300. So all things work together for the good to them that are the called to God. Hallelujah. And even now, we already have our 501c3, where we are tax exempt and we are a charitable organization. So to God be the glory. Again, to God be the glory is only that God has done these things. So God promises that in Jesus, all things are made new. And the former things fade away. Former things fade away. God provides you with a brand new beginning by forgiving and forgetting your past. Aren't you so happy that God forgives and forgets, forgives and forgets. But some people, some humans don't forgive and forget. Hallelujah. But if the past trips you up, if the trap, if the past trips you up, see your past the way God does. As no more, as no more, no longer determining your future, no longer determining your, 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 your future or where you should have been because of what you used to do, the things you used to say, but God kept you in the hands of protection. Hallelujah. So hallelujah. That's why now we are walking in the destiny of where God has placed you into. As you look at Isaiah chapter 43, Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 through 19. Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 through 19. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Again, it says, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. In the Bible, we see God as the God of new beginnings over and over again. He's the one who offers us hope and a fresh start when we're feeling down and out. God is the one who welcomes us with open arms, no matter what we've done. Take Job, for example. When everything in his life was going wrong, he turned to God and asked for help. And God restored him, giving him a new beginning. 
God is the God who restores. God is the God who restores. In the book of Genesis, Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery. But God later used Joseph to save them during a famine. The God of new beginnings is the God who uses evil for good. The Israelites were captives in Egypt for centuries. But God eventually brought them out and gave them a new land to call home. God is the God of the promised land. King David was forgiven after repenting for his affair with Bathsheba and having her husband Uriah killed by having him moved into the front line of the battle. Yet, he was given a second chance to be king. The God of New Beginnings is also the God of second chances. Saul of Tarsus was transformed from a persecutor of Christians into one of the most influential evangelists in history when his name was increased and changed to Apostle Paul. The God of New Beginnings is the God of transformation. These are just a few examples in the Bible of how God can use difficult times to create new beginnings. If you're feeling discouraged, trade it in for encouragement. Know that God is still in control and he can give you a fresh start whenever you need it. Yes. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 29 through 31. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 29 through 31 declares, he giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord. But they that wait, 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 wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Again, that scripture says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. That's why we have to learn to wait on the Lord. And he shall renew your strength. No matter what it seems, what is going on in your life, when it seems that hell, all hell is breaking out in your life, God is in control. God wants us to wait on him to give you the strength that you need. Hallelujah. And then when we learn to wait on the law, we shall mount up with wings as eagles. We're going to be able to fly over issues. We're going to be able to fly over tribulations. Hallelujah. We shall run and not be weary. We shall run and not be weary. That means you're not going to get tired. Those that are, that are tired right now in your body, tired in your spirit, tired in your soul, God is going to give you the strength and the ability to move forward. Because you're not going to be weary. You're not going to give up. You're not going to walk. You shall walk and not faith. You shall walk and not faint, declareth the Lord. God is giving you a new vision for a new day. God has blessed you to be a blessing to your household. God has blessed you to be a blessing to your community. Hallelujah, Jesus. When the Lord will give you strength when you feel that you're weak, God will give you the grace, hallelujah, that you need. When you are weak, then are you made strong because your strength, your dependence is in God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Next level, increase, enlarge, and take over. We decree and declare over your life. We decree and declare in this church. We declare increase. Hallelujah. We declare enlargement in every area, every territory. Take over everything that God has called you to do. Possess. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. When God sees that you appreciate your now, he starts to release your next. I'm going to say that again. When God sees that you release that you appreciate your now, where you're at right now. He starts to release your next. Hallelujah. It's one thing to claim something, but it's another thing to possess something. You can't be lazy and fight. Hallelujah. You can't be lazy and fight. Learn to invade the enemy's camp. Lord, if I had prayed for something too small, give me what you desire. I will possess my possession. Just repeat after me. I shall possess my possession. I shall possess my possession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Prophetically speak that God is doing it even now. God is turning around situations for your good. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God, what God is doing in this season. He wants to use you, oh God, to order for people's lives to be changed. Yes. For people to turn back to God. Yes. For the backslider to be reclaimed. For souls to be saved. Yes. For souls to be delivered. Yes. For souls to be healed. For souls to be baptized yes. and filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. God is doing a new thing yes. in this season. That's why when we come into the house of the Lord, KLT, we, oh God, we enter into your court with thanksgiving. We enter into this place with praise on our lips. We enter into this place as we worship our true and almighty God. Hallelujah. As we worship him. Yes. Hallelujah. We worship him. We worship him for who he is. Yes. Yes. yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. For he is a mighty God. He is a mighty God. There is no limit to his power. No limit to his ability, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. That's why we must learn to wait. Sometimes we pray for things to be done, healings to be done, deliverance to be done. Hallelujah, that's why we have to learn to wait. Because there is nothing wrong with God's ability to do it. Ha. But sometimes he's just trying to get us to wait on him. So that he can renew us. Yes. Hallelujah. So that we can walk in his power. Walk in his strength. Because sometimes we want to walk in our own strength. Sometimes we want to walk in our own power. Our own might. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. But we must walk in the spirit of God. God. Yes. We must walk in the spirit of God. It's not by might nor by power. But by the spirit yes. hey, of the Lord. Hallelujah God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we are so worthy. You are so worthy, God. You are so worthy, God. Lord, we worship your name, Jesus. In spirit and in truth, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we bless your name on today, Lord Jesus. We bless your name on today, Lord Jesus. We bless your name on today, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we say yes to your will, Lord God. We say yes to your way, Lord Jesus. Yes to whatever you want to do in our lives, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord God. We say yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. 
I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than any day. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you how I love you, Lord, in anything. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Touch, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Come on, son. Come on, son. Yes, Lord. Say, yes, Lord. Come on, son. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Yes, Lord, right now, Lord God. Do it for her, Lord Jesus. Touch her hands, Lord Jesus. Touch her mind, Lord Jesus. Touch her ears, Lord Jesus. I'm all say, yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord God. Right now, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord God, we pray, Lord Jesus, right now, Lord Jesus, that you would touch her body, Lord Jesus, from the head, top of her head to the bottom of her feet, Lord Jesus. Lord God, show yourself mighty in her life. Show yourself mighty in her life, Lord Jesus. In the name is our prayer, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord Jesus, oh God, touch her hands, Lord Jesus. Touch her hands, Lord Jesus. Touch your hands, Lord Jesus. Let your anointing flow through her, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, I love you more than anything. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for this service, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you have done, Lord Jesus, what you were yet doing, Lord Jesus, and what you shall do, Lord Lord God, Lord Jesus, as we leave from this place, but never from your presence, God, we pray, Lord Jesus, that you continue, Lord God, to visit us, oh God, in the midnight hour, continue, oh Lord God, to increase your glory, to increase your power in our lives, Lord Jesus, that men, oh God, and women might be drawn to you, God, through love and kindness that be shown towards them, God. Lord God, bless us to be the living vessel, the living epistle that you have called us to be, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, help us to wholly depend upon you, Lord God. Oh God, for you are the strength of our life, God. You are the strength of our joy, God. You are the strength, oh God, of our salvation, God. So now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. All the people of God say, Amen.